I fucking hate you, Jessica. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about Wet n Wild lipsticks. Most importantly, these liquid catsuit, mega last liquid catsuit liquid lipsticks. And two of these velvet matte lip colors right here. So really excited to be doing this because I'm a fanatic of liquid lipsticks and found these at Walgreen. Um, I knew that they existed because I saw like you know a couple of reviews on YouTube and stuff but I couldn't wait to like just try them out for myself and see what I think because I am a little picky with liquid lipsticks and you know Wet n Wild is like so cheap it's like three four five dollars. Um, I think this was like five dollars. I can double check. But I got four of them because those were the only colors that interested me at the store. But I definitely... Let's just get into the review. So first, I did the the Velvet Matte Lip Colors. So I wanted to try these out because Wet n Elf has these matte lip colors that kind of look like these. And also NARS has like these stick lipsticks in you know matte formula that are pretty pretty good too they're really really drying these are meant to be more velvet like so they're not supposed to be super super drying but they're supposed to be matte and just velvety and when i tried this one this was this is called nude streak and the name is right it's nude and it is streaky sorry wet and wild but this one is super super streaky it's pretty and i feel like it's going to be amazing for mixing and just lightening up like the inner parts of your lips when you're trying to do an ombre or something like that. But super, super streaky. I would not wear this on its own. And it's patchy. And yeah, it just didn't look that good. But I would love to use this and mix it. So when I tried this one on, this is called Looking for Truffle, which is really, really cute. This is amazing this color is like my lips but better it's like a pinky brown like cinnamony not not that dark but like not too light it's just a perfect like in between and it's a really really good nude for tan skin colors this is also amazing for mixing uh mixing lipsticks like i had um, in the video you'll see I was trying on liquid lipsticks and you know some of them were too light for my tan skin so before you know you let your liquid lipstick dry you take this and kind of outline your lips you know and kind of like blend it into the lipstick and it looks so so pretty and this formula is amazing this formula is super super velvety super super pretty um, it really hydrates your lips but it's not shiny it just glides on really really amazingly and makes your lips look so pouty and kind of like gives you like a instant plump and like I said it's perfect for every day the formula is beautiful not drying it's super super hydrating and creamy but it's not shiny so you also get that beautiful classic matte look it's amazing kind of reminds me of world from Mac and all those you know Kylie Jenner lipstick colors that go around um, so I would definitely want to get more but I would stay away from maybe the lighter ones and try more like of the medium shades and the browner shades but these these are really nice to mix and just to have around and throw in your purse and give your lips a little bit of hydration and color without you know adding too much effort so I really really like these and then the liquid lipsticks so the liquid lipsticks they are 0.21 ounces which is pretty pretty good the packaging it's so unlike elf usually i mean wet and wild sorry i get i get these two confused because I, they're my two favorite drugstore brands but this is super super sleek i love this glass look and the packaging it really reminds me of the jeffree star packaging and also when i opened it and i looked at the doe foot it definitely reminded me of the Jeffree Star like doe foot applicator. So super, super similar, super like high end looking and feeling. So hooray for them for not like, you know, giving us crappy packaging. And yeah, I just love the packaging. 
The smell is a little bit chemically, so it's not my favorite. It's not as good as the Jordana liquid lipsticks. They're super, super like sweet and fruity and candy-like. It's pleasant to smell, but you know, these don't smell horrible. They're not strong, and they do go away after they dry down. So, yeah, and as, like, when let's get to the formula. So, when you put these on, this one on especially, this one is super, super light. This one is called nudist peach it is very very peach but it's also like a beige nude it looks it's gonna look beautiful on a lot of people but if you're tanner like me then you can mix like a darker lip liner or lip color and just make sure it's not too dry so it's not like you're not rubbing like a dry lipstick on top of like a almost tacky almost setting liquid lipstick so make sure like it's a really good formula or you can just line your lips down below or like put a darker lip color down below and then apply this and kind of do an ombre this formula is super super creamy which means that it's going to be super comfortable on the lips and it is it's really comfortable but it isn't transfer proof these do transfer when you drink when you eat they do fade a little bit and kind of like feather out they take a long time to dry I don't know if you like that um, me I don't mind like this one I put it on a, like five minutes ago or six minutes ago it's still drying a little bit and everything but it still lasts a super long time I put these to the test I wore it when I went into work at 7 a.m. and when I came back home at 6 I believe and it still looked pretty pretty good um, they are comfortable because the formula is creamy and they but they do last a long time and they're not uncomfortable and they do stay matte and do stay smooth looking so that's this color and then this color is called rebel rose it's a beautiful pink color it has taupe undertones and gray undertones it's a little bit more cool but it still looks nice on warm skin i had to warm this up though with you know the the truffle lip color like i did in the video and it looks super super pretty like i said creamy uh takes a little bit longer to dry not transfer proof but still long lasting and stays matte and smooth looking um and that's what this color is like and then this color is called nice to fuchsia like nice to meet you but i guess nice to fuchsia i guess and this color is a beautiful like purple pink like a barbie kind of purple pink maybe not so purpley but it's really really pretty the formula i found in all of these wet n wild lipsticks is that it's super super consistent they're creamy they're opaque they blend out nicely you only need one application to get the full um color you don't really need to build and keep putting on lipstick um they take a while to dry but they're super comfortable and they last a long time and you can mix other colors like on top or uh, on the bottom for you to like you know mix colors make it a little bit more comfortable to wear make it a little bit more matte um all that stuff so they're really versatile and consistent the jordana ones that i reviewed also i'm not sure if this one's gonna be going up before this video but these are these are very very nice too but they are a lot more drier like they the formula is thinner so it dries down fast it's not transfer proof or it is transfer proof like you won't get any like not a lot of like fadingness or like getting color on your like cups if you're eating or drinking or anything like that um but the formula is patchy on on the darker colors so you do have to work with them and, and build it up and like layer or put color underneath if you want to get like the true color so that's what i like about the wet and wild is that they're consistent and thick so you know you can get the color that you want and this one i've never tried before this is my first time actually trying this color this is called goth topic on the package the packaging it looks like it would be like a reddish brown but then i put it on my lips and it looks completely chocolatey to me like it looks like a dark chocolate brown and it's amazing i love chocolate browns this one was a tiny bit more patchier than the rest but still really really consistent really creamy and the color looks amazing and yeah I love this color I love bold lips I would definitely get more colors and want to try more of both these um drugstore lips 
liquid lipsticks. The Jordana ones are great and the Wet n Wilds are great. You just have to like work with the Jordana ones a little bit more, but these you don't have to work with as much. Uh, I added a second layer on top just to get it a little bit more even, but like I said, it's comfortable. Now that it's dried down, it's been 10 minutes, it's dried down almost completely. It's not tacky anymore. It's super matte and and now it is transfer proof so when it's drying and if you probably mix it with other lip colors and you know it's not just this liquid lipstick it probably will transfer and be a little bit more tacky but now the formula is completely dry and you know it won't transfer it looks really really smooth and yeah, I can't say good things about these Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. So definitely give them a try if you're interested and you don't want to buy expensive liquid lipsticks. And I would try online because you can get more options and you can select more shades. I'm definitely going to do that in the future. But right now, I'm happy with all the colors that I got and all the choices that I have. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like and have a good day.